I just stood the ramp up, held the brace or the strap there at an angle, kind of eyeballed where I want it to end up. And I think I want to put it right there, so I'm going to tack this in place. Um, I'll probably go ahead and grab my ramp and tack the other end in place, uh, the other stud, and uh, we'll put that on and see if we can see if that makes sense. And if not, then I'll change it. Okay, so so far so good. So, I've just tacked this on right here. And I tried to put the hole a little bit more vertical, so but I couldn't put it straight up and down because this would be in the way. And, um, seems to be fairly strong. Sorry about the sun, it's like right there. What I might do is get a big washer that'll slide over that. It's like 7 8 and slide it in. Huh. Maybe, or maybe a little shim or something to help minimize the play. But I think that's going to be alright. It's holding it pretty much vertical. And um, it'll be a little noisy, but I think this kind of mild C channel will be a little bit more supportive than just this plain strap. I was going to use 316th strap, but I think this will um, give it a little more support. Especially if this ramp walks. Like if it walks toward the middle. Um, I've got to make sure that the pressure from the metal hitting this outside won't pop this loose. So maybe I will get a big washer to put over these just to protect that. So it'll hit the washer before it'll hit the before this metal will hit the release there. Okay, good. Now most of the weight's sitting on the trailer itself, so that little angle um, is just holding the ramp up. Sweet. Now I'll burn it in. Then I'll do the other side. I'm pretty happy so far. I need to catch that spot right there and try to catch that edge a little bit better. All right. That's the lower one. Sweet! I think it's... I think I'm happy. Sorry, all the tools are kind of distracting, but... Um, just need to burn them in. Can't forget to do that, or that won't last very long, right? So, and they seem pretty symmetrical. I used the level, or, yeah, to get them... They seem pretty straight. Seem to match each other close enough, close enough for steel work, and lynch pin drops right in from this side. Come around this side, drops right in right there. So I don't think I'm going to lock these. I'm just going to use regular lynch pins. Put a washer behind the lynch pin between the lynch pin and the strap right there, or that little C channel, and. Leave it at that. I am going to lock this crossbar, though, this um, pin or rod or whatever you call it, right there. I was thinking about just getting like a um, hitch pin, those small ones, and just dropping it through and putting a lock on it. One of the sealed ones that um, you can protect the lock on. Because um, it's going to get a lot of grind back here, obviously. I think, I think it was Nate told me, he said, drill a hole into the trailer and put the lock on the inside of the trailer. Kind of be, keep it out of sight. And... Um, I might do that. I'm not, I'm not going to be using this very often. I mean, I'm not going to be taking... I don't imagine myself taking ramps on and off very often, but maybe I will. Um, that would be the only hassle is kind of getting on my knees and reaching under there to unlock it. But if I can get key to like, then I don't have to try to figure out which key matches which. So i got to chew on that a little bit more to see what I'm going to... see what my final decision will be. All right. Yep, couldn't be happier.